If you are a Greater Victoria homeowner or if you are looking to get into the market for the first time, you are probably trying to stretch those dollars and you know that real estate in the capital does not come cheap. For many, a home with a secondary suite is really the only way to do it to get the mortgage paid. And now a new pilot program from the City of Victoria will allow homeowners to build a suite right in their backyard. As A News reporter Andrew Johnson shows us, detached suites are already popping up on the West Shore. We're going to get carved in the house. For little Jeanne Rupp, the trip to Grandma's house to get started on the Halloween pumpkins takes about 15 seconds, an arrangement that works out for three generations of this South African family just fine. We're independent and we can come and go as we please and we see our grandchildren regularly. And at the same time, it suits me because I don't have to send my children to daycare. Ron, his wife and the kids live here and his parents in a detached suite above the garage. It's part of the Parkdale Creek development at West Hills. The company says this carriage house style of suites has proven extremely popular. It just helps with the privacy of the renters as well as the homeowners. We don't interfere in my um, children's life and they don't interfere in ours. Perfect. And that's, it's a win-win situation for all of us. Now the setup has arrived in Victoria. The city is launching a garden suite pilot program. Basically, if you've got a big backyard and a garage or other structure you don't use, you can apply to convert it into what is essentially a little house, or you can even build from scratch. A homeowner on Rutledge Street is the first to apply for a rezoning to build a 450 square foot suite behind his home, which will be sent to public hearing. The mayor says thousands of people could follow. Potentially, right now, uh, there, I'm told that there's 7,200 um, structures that exist that, that could be uh, looked at uh, for this garden suite process. The city is hopeful the pilot program can create more affordable housing, but wants to hear from homeowners and others in the community about what they like about the idea and what they don't at an open house next Wednesday. We're inviting everybody to come on down and, and let's talk about this. Let's see uh, what the potential this holds. He's going to be very, very scary. The Rupp family will tell you the potential is moments like this. In Langford, Andrew Johnson, A News.